Hello YouTube, my name is Oso Guinea Pig. Welcome to episode 4 of Redstone with Oso, and let's get this shit started. So as you might have guessed by what's behind me, today we're going to be learning a little bit about pistons. So before we do anything, let's learn how to craft a piston. So to make a piston, we're going to take 4 pieces of cobblestone, three planks, it can be, right now I'm using oak planks, but you could use any type of wooden planks. We then need one piece of redstone and one piece of iron ingot. Now these, these are the materials we need for, to make one piston. So to start off we're going to place the cobblestone like this on either side. We're then going to place the three pieces of wood planks along the top row of the crafting bench like so. We're going to place our iron ingot in the middle, and then we're going to fill up the bottom middle space remaining with that piece of redstone dust, and that is going to give us our piston. I'm going to go ahead and place the piston on the ground right on that block. Now, let's take a look at this piston. Um, looking at it right now, we see we have this section, which is gray, and then we have this wooden texture section. Now, this section is the face of our piston. So this face is p facing towards me, horizontally along the ground. We can also have the f uh, face of the piston facing upwards, like this. And you can see here that the face of the piston is facing downwards. Now, these pistons are currently in a retracted state, which means that this face is in the same block as the base of this piston. This is what it looks like when the piston is extended. We can see that the face of the piston is now one block away from the rest of the piston. So this is our horizontal extended piston. Here is our facing upwards vertical extended piston. And then here is our facing downwards extended vertical piston. Now let's craft a sticky piston. Now sticky pistons, all we have to do is we're going to take this slime ball and we're going to come over here in our crafting bench and we're going to put the slime ball right above our regular piston and that is going to give us our sticky piston. Now you can see that I can place the sticky piston like so. The face is works the same way. We see there's this little green splotch that indicates that it is a sticky piston. And you can see that here are our three retracted pistons, and here are them in their extended form. Now you can see that they're in different orientations. Now I'm going to talk about how we can get them into those different orientations. So when we place a piston, the direction that the face is pointing towards is going to be determined by where we are when we place the piston. So as you might have noticed when I placed the piston before, if I place it right here, the face is facing towards me. That is because I am on its direct side, like so. Now, if I get to a point where instead of less on the side of it and more above it, like so, and I place my piston, it's going to face upwards. It's going to choose which way I am mostly in the direction of. So. As you might have guessed, if I'm going almost directly below it, and I place a piston here, it's going to end up facing downwards towards me. So this is how we orient our pistons in the different ways that we want them to go. Alright, oh so now I get how to place pistons, I get how to make them, I understand all of that. But how do I get them to move, and how do I get them to move the way I want them to move? Well, in order to power a piston, in order to make it extend and retract, what we need to do is we need to give it power from an adjacent area on the sides of the bottom of the piston. We can do this by leading a redstone signal into it from a redstone dust, like so. We could also have a torch right next to the base of the piston, and that will extend the piston. As long as we're giving power to something adjacent to the piston, we can use essentially everything. 
we can activate a block. We can send power to a block next to the fix the piston, and the piston will extend. We can just have a lever or button right next to the piston, the piston extend. We can throw a carrot on a pressure plate right next to the piston, and the piston will extend. It's all about supplying power to the bottom part of that piston. Alright, oh, so I've got my piston set up, I've got my block set up, I've got my power set up, I've got my golden carrots, and I'm ready to push some blocks. Well, let's go ahead and do that. So when we supply power to this regular piston, we're going to push the block out, and it's going to just stay there right where we pushed it out, one block ahead. So you might be thinking, oh god, I could just push an entire mountain. Unfortunately, you can't do that. You see, pistons can only push a maximum of 12 blocks at a time. So right here, I have 12 blocks of glowstone, and I'm going to give power to this piston, and it's going to push the whole line of 12 glowstone one block in that direction. However, if I put another glowstone here, and I try to press this button, nothing is going to happen. The piston's not going to extend. It won't even extend if I give it golden carrots. Now let's do the same exact experiment, but now we've got sticky pistons. Now this is where we're going to see the difference between a sticky piston and a regular piston. Now these are both sticky pistons, so let's start off with this first thing. I'm going to supply power to this piston, which is going to push this block forward. So let's see what happens. You can see that when the piston retracted, it brought the block back with it. Now this is why sticky pistons are different than regular pistons. The sticky surface, so to speak, will grab the block that is right in front of it, and it will pull it back with it. So you can see it's going to extend the block, and it's going to pull it back. So let's do the same thing with the twelve line of 12 glowstone blocks, and let's see what happens. So you can see what happened. It pushed the whole row of 12 glowstone blocks one block forward. But that last piece of glowstone dust on the end was pulled back because that was the glow piece of glowstone that was touching that green sticky goo. Hence the sticky piston. Now, the same rules apply with sticky pistons that it cannot push more than 12 blocks. So you can see if I make it 13, nothing will happen. Why won't you just fucking put- Alright guys, thank you for watching episode 4 of Redstone with Oso. As usual, you can click the red box in the top left to view my previous episode of Redstone with Oso. You can go ahead and hit the box in the top right to see the next episode of Redstone with Oso. Also, you can hit the box in the bottom left to check out my channel and other videos I've done, including other tutorials and other creations as I do. And hit the box in the bottom right to subscribe. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.